Of all the things that could happen before your wedding, this setting the bar story happens. Kelly, describe what a setting the bar story is for those who may not know. Well, typically it's a what not to do or something that we hope does not happen to you. Yeah. So imagine having to look your father-in-law in the eye the day after this happens. So if you can manage to make it through the day without having your bride-to-be hold down a mattress while going 50 miles an hour on the highway, you're doing okay. Okay, so they didn't really have a proper moving vehicle for the job, right? Yeah, Alex and Lydia, uh, they just got married, right? Okay. So Lydia and the pictures for the wedding didn't come out probably how she had wanted Because the day earlier, they decided they were going to move into a new place, right? They were going to start their new adventure as a married couple. All right. So they were moving the day before. They wanted to get their mattress in before their wedding night. So um, Alex tossed the mattress into the back of his truck and said, you know what? We don't really have tie downs. So Lydia, why don't you just lie on the mattress to weigh it down? Just hop in the back. Yeah. It's going to be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm just, we're just driving over here. Not going to be a big deal. Well, he got up to about 50 on the highway. Ooh. Mattress flew out of the truck oh, with his bride to be oh, still no. on it. Oh, no. Wasn't really thinking, just was thinking of the fastest possible way to get the mattress from A to B, which just happened to be throwing the mattress in the back and putting Liddy on top. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. But honey, you just hold it down. It's going to be fine. That sounds great. I'll just hold the mattress down in the back of the truck. Yeah. She, it, babe. she was like, you know what? No worries. I'm game. I remember the whole thing other than landing. I flew out just oh screaming. Um, and then I remember just rolling on the street. Yeah. Oh, my she gosh. She flew. Like, it oh, could have turned rash. out much worse. Oh, yeah. I mean, her arms and hands are pretty banged up. And, oh, she chipped her tooth. I'm looking in my rearview mirror and I see my fiance rolling away from me. First thought was that she had died. A lot of people were able to overlook the stupidity and really come and support both of us in the time that we needed it. Yeah, the wedding still happened the very next day. Road rash and all. Uh, Her arms and face kind of got scraped up. Like you said, broke uh, her two front teeth. And um, she dodged traffic once she got up. Oh, my gosh. She's lucky to be alive, yeah. Now, oh, that they, could they have did, been way worse. Yeah, they did go through their wedding the very next day. Um, now, the reason we just are now hearing about this, even though this happened in April, is because last week there was a National Secure Your Load Day. <laughs> oh, come on now. And they're like... This is a perfect example. Yeah, well, this is why you should tie down your stuff. The load was not secured. Right. It was don't, not. Don't have your fiancé just hold it down in the back. Don't worry, honey. I got it. I, I got, got it, babe. I got you know, it. Sounds like it's going to be fine. Yeah. So, yeah. again, we're lucky that she uh, uh, she did, she didn't turn out worse for the wear. But, um, you know, the pictures from the wedding, you know, you can see she's still got a little road rash on her face. Oh, yeah. Face, it looks but, like it hurts so bad. But, yeah, she was a trooper. And uh, um, they ended up getting married. So. That is a story that they're going to have for their entire married life. Well, and there's no way they're going to forget it because of the pictures. A thousand percent. So, oh, bless her heart. Yeah, she that's was your still se- a beautiful bride. That's your setting the bar story. Would love to hear your this happened right before we were getting married story. Oh, wow. All right. If you've got a good one, already text from Liz. Got one from Mandy to get to, and Jessica on the way on 9970JX. Your story, too. 502-795-1997.